Previously on Phoenix Wright's Spirit of Justice. This is not something I would normally speak about to an outsider such as you. The book contains Lady Kira's true name. It's so important about a name. Without a name, a priestess's voice will fail to reach a person's mitoma. It is much like trying to send a letter without the recipient's address. You must know a spirit's face and true name before you can commune with it. It is the same for Kirinism's most secret art, one that my mother alone may use. Oh, we're getting into that now, are we? And now back to the present. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I guess she does. Well, you know, we'll humor her. Could you tell me about the secret art of the queen you spoke of? Come again? Oh, well, sorry. Maybe we shouldn't talk about this. It is a secret after all, right? Oh, he is just playing her. It's the secret art of spirit channeling. But I suppose those words are meaningless to you. Yeah, totally meaningless. I've never seen it before. I don't even believe in it, actually, really. Also, Maya can't do it either. I'm just surprised how willing you are to tell me about it. A third-rate lawyer cannot channel spirits simply by learning of the technique. Third-rate is a bit harsh. I'd even settle for second. <laughs> what is it? You have the look of a tentacled hag frog upon your face. Tentacled hag frog. Hashtag tentacled hag frog. What the heck is a tentacled hag frog? Spirit channeling. That's where a medium lets a spirit possess her body to return to our world, right? Well now, I see you have done your homework. Oh, I guess I studied a bit. <laughs> so there's nothing, you know, don't worry about it. With the power of spirit channeling, one can bring back even the most ancient of spirits. It's quite a magnificent power, is it not? I've never seen her eyes light up like this before. I imagine they're pretty shocked when they come back from ancient times. Yeah, all these cell phones and everything, man, what would you even do? Indeed. A spirit's memory is cut off at the moment of death. So even a spirit that is brought back after centuries doesn't sense any gap in time between the moment of its death and the moment it is channeled. Man, I love these little details like this. Yes, and yet it clearly recalls all the memories it had in life. Thus even heroes and scholars of antiquity can be channeled. Oh my god, you know, I just realized something. Um, wait, let me just read this first. Thus even heroes and scholars of antiquity can be channeled directly learned from. Like, what if, you know, somebody got murdered, you know, a really long time ago, and that's like the last thing they remember, and then in the future someone channels them, so they still think they're in danger, their first instinct is to, like, defend themselves or whatever. Is that, like, maybe what happened here? Our queens have also used this power to help the rulers of neighboring lands seek counsel. That is why we have never been invaded, and how we have maintained our unique culture. So spirit channeling is a really effective tool for international politics. <laughs> it is indeed, and that is why only those with the power to channel spirits may rule our kingdom. But of late, there has been an endless influx of illegal immigrants from neighboring lands. The fools come seeking the same great power as my mother. Legal immigrants? Damn, dude. Yes, it is becoming quite a problem. Some have lost their way in life and looked to Koreanism for their salvation. Among them are also those of dubious nature who have been driven from their own lands. I think we should build a wall. No, don't do that. Dubious nature are driven from their own land. Gasp and pain definitely fit that bill. <laughs> well... They sure weren't treating him like an illegal alien. Hmm. Jeez. Can you channel spirits, your benevolence? I mean, she kinda can. I am but the royal priestess. There is so much that I must learn. As of now, the divination seance takes me to the very limit of my ability. So her spiritual power doesn't measure up to Maya's. You didn't read my mind! Oh my god, you did read my mind. I'm sorry. Don't be ridiculous. It's written all over your face, you impudent nincompoop. 
The divination seance was once one of the important roles fulfilled by the queen, damn it! I hate you! That's what my mother taught me when I was little! So the queen can perform the dance of devotion. That'd be a sight to see. Yeah, just spin an egg on a table. And get the same effect. Someday I will be a powerful priestess and queen just like my mother. And the divination seance is a vital part of my training to prepare me for that day. Forgive my ignorance, your benevolence. Forgiven. No, you shall see. It will not be long before I too master the secret art of spirit channeling. And then I'm gonna do it all the time. I'm gonna channel Tom Petty, and I'm gonna channel Lady Gaga, even though she's not dead yet. I'm gonna channel her future spirit and bring it to the past. Oh, could you do that? I wonder. That would be well, you couldn't do that. So that's the thing though, it's like time has to play into it too. It has to be after their death, but what if you could channel someone from a different time? I mean, you're already channeling people from the past. You know, that should be impossible, right? Just as impossible as channeling someone from the future. I don't know, we better, probably better not get into this though. Guys, I'll, I'll be a writer for you on the seventh game. <laughs> no, you probably don't want me. But I do know Lost very well, so I kind of know how the rules work. I will be a magnificent queen who unites her people for the greater good of Karain. Now I see. Spirit channeling is something she really aspires to. Well, that's cool. I mean, you know, I'm gonna ace that test to become the next master. After all, I couldn't let my clan and the other villagers down. Looks like she actually has something in common with Maya. Are you quite through now? I suppose. There are more important things to do than stand here and talk about spirit channeling. That's true. It doesn't have anything to do with this case, as far as I can tell. Which basically means it does. <laughs> or does it? Oh, uh, if the queen is a spirit medium... <gasps> oh, that too. What if the queen did it? Um, are you about to suggest that... My mother was channeling Lady Kira. <laughs> no, 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 I, I wasn't thinking that at all. Jeez Louise, dude. Oh, lawyers are indeed a witness breed, but you have some wit for a blumpkin. On the day of the riot, my mother was engaged in other duties at the palace. Of course, other duties, like... My mother is a very busy woman. <laughs> I didn't cut anything there. And the idea itself is preposterous. Do you truly believe the Queen of Karain would personally battle the insurgents? This is precisely what makes you third rate. Erk. Another dead end. This is bad. Anyway, I need to continue looking for leads, so... Over there, after him! Don't let him escape! Uh oh what's going on? Oh, did they find him? What's all that racket? They were going after the guy, right? He ran out of court? Uh oh Excuse me, miss, we should go hide. What? That escaped prisoner has surfaced here in town? Escaped prisoner? Uh, boy. You mean that guy with the bushy beard? Man, I, just, I kinda can't wait to see what this guy looks like without the... Well, I mean, they, show, they showed him in the photo and everything, but like to see him like this, you know, to see his full body and everything. No longer a suspect, but he might know something considering he was at the scene of the crime. Yeah, I'll tell you. Let's go take a look. Wait. And now. Oh man. Mailing grind bazaar. Let's do it. Oh, 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 my aching back. I forgot how badly I'd injured it. Yeah, we had to bring that back into the plot at some point, just to make sure it didn't look like we had neglected it or something. Ow, 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 I need to do some stretching and exercise more when I get back home. If I get back home. Ah, oh, Mr. Wright! Hey! Oh, oh, oh my god. Do you have a, a stamina fruit? <laughs> That's our ball. Have you seen it? Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> Are you alright, sir? One second. Weeze! <laughs> Have you seen that escaped prisoner around here? Also, that's why all those police came rushing over here. I heard them saying something about an escaped prisoner disappearing in this area. He disappeared in this area? He 
couldn't have taken the air again, Cody. To to the air, I mean. Barbed head! Oh, oh, I told you to wait! Oh, it seems it was a little tough for you, too. <laughs> it's too dangerous for you around here, you benevolent. Mr. Arbar could, Mr. Airball, Arball, could be lurking nearby. What sort of a princess would I be if all it took was an escaped prisoner to frighten me? She's fearless, I'll give her that. Can't be responsible if something happens to you. Because something's going to happen to me, too, so... As long as I'm here, though, I might as well search the area myself. If I were an escaped prisoner, where would I hide? Hmm... Any ideas what to do? <laughs> Have you noticed anything around here? I haven't seen the escaped prisoner. But I did notice how slow you run, sir. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, what to do? The police said the escaped prisoner vanished right around here. There aren't any really good hiding places, so where could he have gone? Maybe he melted into the crowd. Just be careful, your benevolence. You need not tell me that. I got a bad feeling. She's gonna get captured, isn't she? Okay, so, well, my first thought, as weird as it sounds, is that he probably went behind one of these stalls and is, like, pretending to be a vendor or something now. Alright, well, here's the veggie crate, or whatever this is. Look at all these vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, there's Gepam, Kanuro, and Zabas. They're all freshly picked this morning. I've never heard of any of them. Maybe I'll buy some and see what they taste like. You want some too, Albie? My treat! <laughs> really? Thank you, sir! I'll take some of this, and this, oh, and this too! I think I actually examined this one before, but I skipped it. Albie, that's quite a lot you've got there already, don't you think? It's barely enough for a side dish! I hope I brought enough money. Ha ha ha. Oh, yeah. There's something there, too. That manhole cover. It's open! Dude! <laughs> Whoa! What is it, Shadow? Did he sniff out someone or something in the manhole? Hmm, I wonder. Am I gonna climb down there in this suit? Could Shadow track Mr. Arbol if he had something with the Rebel's scent on it? I don't know. I feel like I've got something with Mr. Arbol's scent on it. Something he might have touched. Ooh. Ah, present. Here we go. Booyah. That's the dagger that was used in the right. It said that Lady Kira once wielded it. In addition to that dagger, there are many other items that are said to have been hers. Really? Like what? There's the obvious stuff, like swords, spears, and other weapons. But there are other, more interesting items, like her uh, lens of truth, her favorite hat, and her favorite pillow. Her pillow? Yes, they say if you use it, Lady Kira will ensure you have a restful slumber. As long as it's not eternal. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. What about this flag? Do you know anything about this? Here, Shadow. How about this? I hope it works. Yeah, that was like my second guess, too. It's meat for grub. It's the kind of thing he would say. I think he's picked up a scent. Look, <laughs> he's like looking up at him. Well, well, there he goes. You mind if I borrow Shadow for a bit? By all means. I was getting sick of him pooping on my head anyways. I'm gonna go wash my hair two times. I had no idea you could do this. Yeah, go get him, boy! <laughs> rough, rough. We're using the dog, it's so cool. It's just like Missile and all the other cool dogs we've seen. Cool dog biscuit. Your benevolence, I'm heading down the manhole now. You might want to go hide. It could be dangerous, so please wait here. Oh, God. No, no, no! Don't worry, I won't commit any of those misdeeds you're so worried about. That is not what I fear. There may be a vicious insurgent lurking down there. Are you worried about me? No. I was simply wondering why you would go to such lengths in your investigation. After all, if you would simply withdraw from this case, they might commute your sentence. You have no idea what it's like to care about somebody as much as I care about Maya. So just shut up. I'm doing this to prove Maya innocent. How can you be so sure of the accused innocence? She's already been found guilty! Yeah. She has. 
Don't worry, maybe this extra day in court is a blessing from the Holy Mother. Mmm. Inside out and upside down. I believe in her. If she says she's innocent, then that means she's innocent. Lawyers must trust in their clients to the bitter end. That's just what we do. <laughs> Lame brain. Do what you will. Well, I'm going in. Let's go, Shadow. When we come out, she's not going to be there. Maybe neither of them will be there. Are we going to get to see the sewers, or... Wait, come back here. It's pitch black down here. I can't see a thing. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. What's going on here? Okay, the, oh man, this... Jeez, this is like watching a movie or something. What happened? Went down to the manhole and then... Oh, they brought me to a feast. What? The? Yeah, okay. Well, he doesn't actually look as different as I thought he would, but wow, he's got a wide mouth, though. He looks like, um, Terrence and Philip, practically. I'd remember that face anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, that's him. His mouth is pretty wide there, too. And that dragon symbol on his armband. That's the mark of the rebels. So, can we, like, talk and stuff now? There can be no mistake, it's him, Dat's Arball. Holy shit. Am I, like, tied up or something? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry I got a little rough with you back there. Thought you were the cops. Why are you making that face? Oh man. Oh, this is uncanny valley right here, man. Hey, what well, an apple? Whew. I thought he was gonna kill me. I'll pass on the apple, but thanks. I might a good apple, but not right now. What is this place? How are you eating so many of those? What is that spider back there? Is this the house of Skultula? This is the office of my brother in arms, Dick. Oh, he's so happy, jeez. Oh, this is so weird to see. I guess he did have that kind of big mouth look when he had the beard on too. But right now we're using it as a rebel safe house. Wait, back up a sec. What kind of office is this exactly? A law office, what else? Really? Dirk used to be a lawyer? Yep, just like you. Okay, oh, I need to stop and think about this for a second. Uh, because he said he knew Sadmati too, right? Ugh. Something is going on here. Ryan's public enemy number one is an ex-lawyer. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, I was really... But I don't suppose I'll be coming around here anymore. You won't? Are you planning to flee or something? It's just... I want to get out of the rebel business. I'm tired of being hounded by the cops and all that. So I came by today to pick up the last of my stuff. Really? I'm going to sell Dirk's info to the Minister of Justice and slip out of Karine. You're going to what? Wait a second. Uh, oh god, this is so weird. You're a key person of interest in this case. You can't go running off like that. Relax, will you? I'll tell you whatever you need to know. Oh, sorry about punching your lights out back there. My bad. So, Mr. Lorry Man, what do you want to know? Tell me about the murders of the High Priest, Trust in Me, and his acolyte, Puray Zealot. Praise a lot. <laughs> sure, I'll tell you whatever I can. Don't know if it'll be much help, though. I mean, I'm not a rebel anymore, so... I wonder how true that really is. Like, what happens when you're a rebel and you rebel against that? Do you become a rebel rebel? Or maybe you're just a contrarian? I don't know. 
Tell me everything you know about the High Priest's murder. Even though I know you're gonna lie, but... Actually, you probably won't. I don't know. Uh, well, as you know, I don't remember much about that. Wait, I need to hear this music. Notice he didn't say where he was when he woke up. Hmm. And as for now, I'm just going to assume he was still there in the same place, but. Wow, my god, how many animations are there for this dude? <laughs> it's just so weird. You seem very sorry, yeah. So the bottom line is, you were at the scene of the crime, but weren't involved in it. Got it. <laughs> Dirk the attorney, oh boy. So Dirk used to be a lawyer. Yep, he was a force to be reckoned with back when he was still practicing. Of course, he can't do that now, you know. He was a juggernaut of the law, and as mighty as a dragon. He could strike terror into a prosecutor's heart just by glaring at him. People called it his dragon's glare. He even got criminals to confess and pass out with a well-placed glare. You have to be kidding me. Hmm. But most important of all, he would never surrender. He'd fight for the accused no matter how the odds were stacked against him. Is that what you mean by the will of the dragon? Yep. That would be it, actually. Your work in court yesterday was mighty impressive, too. You didn't give up, no matter how hard of a beating you took. Not unlike Dirk, I might add. Oh, thanks. Even if a big part of that beating I took was because of you, I know. Wow, okay, well. Guess we can examine for a little bit here. Let's see what we got here. Picture of a incense and white flowers. The flowers are still fresh. They must have been put here maybe today or yesterday. Did you put these here, Mr. Airball? <laughs> Something wrong with flowers? Come on, man. Just because I'm a guy doesn't mean I can't be, you know, into beauty and stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Please put that away, dear God. It's just a traditional thing here in Karai. Pay no mind. Are you the one who put the flowers up there by the dead body? I don't know, these ones look a little similar to, uh, to the ones we saw down there, don't they? Hmm. There's a knife driven deep into a photo of the queen. Not bad, not bad at all. I guess the rebels really hate her. Better remember to stay on their good side. I don't know. <laughs> This looks like a photo of Dirk and his compa com compatriots. <laughs> and here's one that looks really old. Oh, wow. Wow, this is a second about... <gasps> oh, it's him! Oh, look! Wow, he must be really old then, huh? It's Prosecutor Sadmati! Oh, he's so adorable! No, don't make me feel for him like this. The other guy must be that. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Are they brothers? These two kids in the photo, I mean? These are Dirk's sons. Okay. Maybe that's not Prosecutor's son. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not thinking. Like, at first, I thought it was Von Car like Francisco. I was like, what the fuck? No. no. Okay, um. Those are Dirk's sons. Hang on, though! No, but we already- no, we are- oh, no! That's not Apollo, is it? I- I'm sitting here right now with my head in my hands. I wish I had the webcam on right now. 
um, well, let's just let this play. We need to just go. Really, so this is the Rebel Dirk in the center. He doesn't look so evil. He looks like, um, he looks like Terry Silver. <laughs> and both of his sons look kind of familiar, <laughs> do they now? The one on the left is Yudi. Ah, oh, but you know him as Prosecutor Sadmati. So Prosecutor Sadmati is Dirk's son. Frickin' hell, dude. So, were they rebels back then? Like, was he a rebel back in this point in time? This Prosecutor Sadmati would have, like, defected from the rebels. Just like this guy's about to do. I mean, the rebels aren't all they're cracked up to be. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh my god. That he is. Yudi was once a rebel, too. He used to really respect his old man. Both as a father and as a lawyer. Then why'd he become a prosecutor? Being a lawyer in this kingdom is the same as signing your own death warrant. On account of the DCA, right? Yep, yeah, that's why Yuti decided to be a prosecutor instead. He wanted to spark a revolution from the inside, so he dove right into the enemy's den. I would have never guessed it looking at him now. You can say that again. Dirk is battling to change Karai's legal system. The will of the dragon spurs him on. We all thought Yudi was taking up the mantle to carry on that will, too. We were sure he'd help overthrow Garan one day, but... As you've seen, he now uses the law to do her bidding. Dirk's been beside himself. So he no longer carries the will of the dragon in him, huh? I wonder what happened between father and son for it to come to this. Who is the other kid? Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, he's adopted. Okay, well, I was gonna say, there's no way they could be brothers. Well, this is like some Investigations 2 shit going on in here. It's Dirk's adopted son, but he's gone back overseas. Yes! It is him! 